Hello, my name is Kirsten Fitzgerald. I'm a consultant paediatric dentist at Our Lady's Children's Hospital in Crumlin and at the Dublin Dental University Hospital. I specialise in looking after children's mouths and teeth and today we're going to talk about healthy mouths in children and in particular their teeth. First of all, let's think about what healthy mouths do. Healthy mouths are involved in a lot of important processes. From the very first stages of life, our mouths are involved in digestion, communication, both with language and non-verbal social communication, with protection of our bodies against bacteria and viruses, with taste for pleasure and protection, and of course with breathing. What's the biggest problem for our children's mouths? In Ireland, about half of five-year-olds have tooth decay. This can cause pain, infection, damage to permanent teeth, loss of ability to eat, lost opportunities at school, behavioural disturbances, nighttime waking, and of course, appearance and social concerns. Can we prevent tooth decay? Yes, we can. Almost all tooth decay is completely preventable. I'm sure you remember the old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes all of us working together to prevent tooth decay. Families do most of the work, though, when things are going well. They look after brushing, diet and getting to the dentist. Society and public policies should support the family and the dental team. So what can the family do? We have some really good grade A top level advice. Brushing is really important. As soon as teeth appear, they should be brushed twice a day. For the over two year olds, we recommend using a small smear of full strength fluoride toothpaste. You'll find the strength of the toothpaste on the back of the packet and look for the number 1450. Parents should brush or supervise the brushing until children are about seven. And children should spit out the extra toothpaste and avoid rinsing afterwards. This way they leave the good fluoride on the teeth to help protect them. This is a nice picture of just the right amount of toothpaste for a school-going child. For a smaller child, you can use just a little wipe or a smear. There's no need to use a lot. The family can also help with starting good habits for eating and drinking. Starting right and starting early is really important. We should never allow bottles in bed or at nap time. We should try and encourage our children to drink milk and water 